People do stupid things because they believe those stupid things will bring them happy. People don't wake up in the morning and say to themselves, hmm, nice day, I wonder, how can I make myself miserable today? The human heart is on a quest for happiness. You want to be happy, I want to be happy, and we act out of that desire for happiness. We live out of that desire for happiness. Now, the human person is made up of four aspects. Physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual. Now, physically, if you eat the right sorts of food, and you sleep regularly, and you exercise regularly, how do you feel? You feel great, yes or yes? You feel great. You feel more fully alive, you're healthier, you're happier, you're more focused, and you have a richer, more abundant experience of life, physically. Emotionally, you give focus to your relationships. Emotionally, you give focus to your relationships. Emotionally, you fall in love. How do you feel? You feel great. Yes or yes? Yes. Why? Why? Because you switch the focus off self onto another. And as you switch the focus off self onto another, you increase your ability to love. And as your ability to love increases, your ability to be loved increases. You feel more fully alive emotionally. You're healthier, you're happier, you have a richer, more abundant experience of life. Intellectually, you take 10 minutes a day to read a good book. Not two hours, 10 minutes a day to read a good book. What happens? You become more focused, more alert, more vibrant, more vital. Your vision of yourself expands, your vision of the world expands. Intellectually, you're healthier, you're happier, you feel more fully alive. You have a richer, more abundant experience of life. Spiritually, you step into the classroom of silence. You take a few moments each day to get reconnected with yourself, to get reconnected with your God. What happens? A sense of peace. A sense of peace. You feel more focused, more alert, more centered more peaceful in your life. Physically, emotionally, intellectually, spiritually, we know the things that bring us happiness. We just don't do them. Physically, emotionally, intellectually, spiritually, we know the things that bring us happiness. We just don't choose them. We just don't choose them. Because life, our whole lives are a series of choices. We're making them every day, hundreds of them. Some of them as big as, you know, what we're going to wear to college, and some of them as small as, you know, what we're going to do with the rest of our lives. But we're making decisions every day. That was a joke. <laughs> Appreciate the courtesy chuckle. <laughs> we're making decisions every day, and those decisions are forming our actions. Those actions are forming our habits. Those habits are forming our character. And that character is forming our destiny. Right in the middle there, the foundation of life, the foundation of character, habits. What are your habits? What are your habits? What are the things you do every day or every week or every month with unerring consistency? Because if you can tell me what your habits are, I can tell you what sort of a person you are. If you can tell me what your habits are, I can tell you what your future looks like. Why? Because habits create character. Good habits create good character. Bad habits create bad character. And your character is your destiny. The foundation of life, the foundation of success, the foundation of character, habits. But the foundation of habits, action, and primarily choices. Choices. How do you make your choices? Do you choose happiness? Do you choose happiness? Or are you choosing misery? When you look at your habits, are they things that are bringing you happiness? Or when you look at your habits, are they things that are bringing you misery? When you look at your habits, do you find choices for happiness or choices for misery? You see, I believe in heaven and hell. I believe in heaven and hell, and I believe they start in this life. And I believe in this life, we are the creators of our own heavens and our own hells. We choose 90% of our happiness, and we choose 90% of our misery. We create our heavens in this life, and we create our hell in this life. Are we choosing happiness or are we choosing misery? Are we choosing happiness or are we choosing misery? And how do we make our choices? Well, the, world, the world's dwindled it down to just three philosophies. Most people, every day, when they make most of their choices, work out of one of three operating philosophies. Number one, individualism. Most people, when they have to make a decision in their lives, they simply ask themselves, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? What can I get out of it? And they make their choice based on what they discover in the answer to that question. Individualism. 
Second most dominant philosophy in our age is the philosophy of hedonism. Hedonism. We ask ourselves, well, if it feels good, I'll do it. If it feels good, I'll do it. If it doesn't feel good, I won't do it. 